Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Sparrow Reignited and we're on Sparrow 1 and we're doing Drag Canyon which, <laughs> not a fan of this level, this one's a really long, it's a bit like Stonehill, it's very open and it's quite long, lots of little bits to do there's an egg thief in here as well um, so yeah yeah it's, uh, it's not a fun, fun level at all So there is a, a trophy in this one called Birdbrained. It's similar to the uh, the one from Clifftown where we have to flame all of the vultures. In this one you just got to charge a vulture, which is again not too difficult. We're just gonna blow that up. We won't see the vultures until later, so again, don't worry about it too much. I wonder why that house has a flame on it. Oh well. Yeah, there's no secrets or anything that I don't know about, so I was just curious about that. First time I noticed that. Yeah, again, long level. I'm get back in in a minute. Go away. Alright, so we're going to go around this way. Don't worry about the thief just yet. just want to get rid of all the obstacles because this thief, again, is quite fast. And we want to make sure that there's nothing that can slow us down. The cacti here are awful. They will slow you down if you run into them. Uh, they weren't part of the original, uh, the original game, actually. Oh, whoa, he's booking it now. Yeah, that little pool of water there can cause problems as well. There we go. That actually wasn't too bad. And he's now swimming in the water for his troubles. Uh, so yes, that was pretty nice. Ah, goodbye. Right, dragon. What? Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Really? No hints or tips or anything like that? Oh, never mind. Okay, right, I'm just going to get out of the way here because I can explain this next bit. You'll see that there was a vulture there, but I just want to get out of the way. So there's two paths now to this, to this level. We can now go up on the upper path and there'll be sort of like a, a sort of secondary section of the level that we can go to um, but we don't actually want to go to there just yet because we need a key for a chest later on on the upper path so we're going to take the lower path and you'll see that there's a vulture here I'm just going to charge into them and there's your trophy all done easily and he can go away as well okay <laughs> Yeah, so same again, just charge into him, no, no real issues there. So we want to get to at least this point. We can carry on if we want to, in fact actually we will, because we'll get to the end of the level actually. We can get back quite, quite easy. So you'll see we're at the end of the level, but we're not even halfway done yet. So um, we need to basically we need to get to that key there that you can just see next to the dragon. Again, you're probably looking at this and thinking, how the hell do you get to that when you can't reach it from here? I mean, if you fly from here to there, you're not going to reach it. So what you have to do is take some really awkward route. And this dragon will sort of give you the hint to it. This one here. Okay, he's getting too cocky now. So we stand here, and you can see that the middle section there, there's a little castle. I'm going to fly over this way. Another enemy just falling asleep. Goodbye. And this is probably one of the more awkward flights that you'll have. It's a bit like the Town Square one, but even longer, where it's a sort of a blind flight. Um, the way we want to go is just around the corner there. So, let's take a bit of a running jump and 
There we go, we're there, we're there. You can land on that ledge if you're not making it to this bit here as well, and you're fine. And we've got our dragon. Incredible glide, Spyro! I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. <laughs> yeah, we found that out in the uh, in the last level in Clifftown. So there's the key. So that's basically how you get the key. So now we have to go all the way back, basically, um, to this area here, where we were going to go from the lower and the upper path. Now we can take the upper path. So because we have the key to be able to open the chest. Can't bad camera angle. Do, do, do. Oh, we got nice bite. Now, even the enemies, the voices of the enemies are just nowhere near where they used to be. It used to be more like frog like, um, whereas now they're just sort of like wacky noises. Want to go around this way? This guy <laughs> into the abyss. Yeah, those guys as well. The the little guys with the um, Yeah, those guys there with the um, that we that we that we threw off the the abyss there. Um, they used to be yellow, and now they're sort of like a greeny tinge. Again, just a a change that I I don't really like there. So life there quite easy and then into here and we've got a dragon is that you Spyro are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about ever since you were a wee puff of smoke we've known uh, you've known uh, I forget <laughs> oh dear so they keep hinting you that he's this He's something special, but <laughs> give me the full details, please. Okay, so we want to go up here now. I just want to apologize as well. While I was down there, there was a little bit of a brief pause. Um, basically, my TV just decided it wanted to go into a completely different mode, take me off the game and, and mic and everything all together. So, <laughs> yeah. Apologies on that one. Okay, here we go. So if we want to get back down to return home, we want to go that way, but we're not going to go there just yet. Um, so yeah, I'll just explain about these chests as well. These are firework chests. They will harm you if you're within their blast radius, so just stand away out of the way. Um, again, we'll see loads of those as, as the, uh, the game progresses in some really awkward positions as well. So, and we just want the longest glide we can to get to this ledge here. Nearly at the end of the level now. There's the key. Nice. I'm going to be missing a couple of gems. Oh, we're not. Okay, nice. There we go. I had a feeling for a second there we were going to be missing some gems, but we are done, I believe, with this level and with this home world. We've actually got through this home world very, very quickly. Uh, Peacekeepers, if you can master the, the little secrets of it, you can fly through it really quickly. So. As long as there's no interruptions with your TV as well, obviously. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to return home. And we can go to the balloonist. Now, the balloonist, he wants 1,200 tre treasure to take us to the magic craft as well. Which we have more than enough. We have 3,000. So, 
Um, if you've completed uh, Artisan's World and then the home world for Peacekeepers, you'll already have 1200 gems by that point. Um, so before you've done any level um, within Peacekeepers, you can already go to Magic Crafters. That's how quickly you can, you can get the requirements. It does get a little bit harder on later on in the game when you get to Beast Makers. Um, you require 50 dragons and uh, you won't have that much by that point. You'll probably have about 40. Um, so even if you've completed everything, you'll only have about 40. So you will have to get as many dragons as you can. Um, that's really the main thing. Uh, we already have enough eggs as well, I believe. Um, if we do the Magic Crafters world, home world, and we get the eggs there, we'll have enough eggs to go straight to Beast Makers. So, um, yes. We're doing all right for the requirements. We're just gonna kill some more Norks just to get everything up because it's going to be our last time here. Check these, make sure none, none survive. All flee for your lives. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, one survives. There we go. And then we're just going to get this guy. Actually, the hell for the hell of it. Let's go kill the kill the egg thief again. Get one off of him as well. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, probably one of the easiest egg thieves in the uh, in the game. One of there are some others as well that I'm going to try and exploit later. Uh, so yeah. We're with the balloonist and uh, next time we'll be going to magic crafters so join me then and uh, thanks for watching take care